Uh, just as we, <laughs> as we bring you into this, both you and TJ are used to the rain and the wind and the snow and the sleet like and it. the, you know, you guys, this is not new territory for you, but mm -hmm. we, for us it is. So what is the difference between all of those things I mentioned? I am so happy you asked yeah. because, uh, you know, the difference really between sleet and freezing rain, that can be where it gets a little confusing. Yeah. Uh, both, you know, are frozen types of precipitation, so to speak, at least when they reach the surface. But freezing rain, it's more so, it's precipitation that falls as liquid so uh, it's going to be falling and it reaches the surface and when it reaches the ground so for example a roadway it freezes immediately so that's what creates kind of that glaze of ice so anything it hits it kind of conforms around to it because it's going to freeze immediately because whatever it's hitting is below freezing temperature wise uh, and then when we have sleet that's more so in the way of kind of the ice pellet so when we compare it to like a glazed donut and a sprinkled donut uh, that's why I have these pictures up here by the way uh, so when we have the glazed donut that's more so like the freezing rain where it kind of adheres to everything it touches. And it's very, you know, there's like a sheen, you can have black ice, but when there's sleet, that's where the precipitation as a whole, uh, it falls uh, as just these ice pellets. And it's one of the more recognizable ones because it, when it falls and hits the ground, it bounces versus, you know, where freezing rain, it's just gonna, you know, immediately stick to the ground. So those are a couple of things we typically use that help us to kind of get a general idea of what to expect when it comes to the two. Both are not ideal, but freezing rain typically causes worse road conditions. So hopefully, crews can get out and uh, clear things out before long. But Elson, back over to you, Amy and Danielle.